Good afternoon and welcome to Eugene Snyder Field. You're watching RTC4.com. We're bringing you the Argus Dragons versus the Andrean Fighting 59ers. This is Amy Stone. Right now I've got Joe Stone with me. Hey, Joe. Hello. And I've got uh, Jacob Stone on the camera. Got about four minutes left before the game starts. Dragons are coming into this game. Let's see what. I should know that. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check that out. <laughs> I should know too. Gabe, you know, Gabe's on the team, but I've yeah. been concentrating on well, the what's lady your, side. Well, I'm looking. What's your record today? Uh, we are uh, eight and four. Eight and four. Joe is the varsity girls coach here at Argus, and they played last night against Westview and came out with a 5-0 victory. I think you said. Yes, the girls played very well last night. I was very happy. That's good. You know what? Um, I don't mind starting out the season thinking, "Ooh, we've got some things to work on," and then once you get, you know, what is it, two weeks before sectional play? Yeah. And and. and saying okay now they're really i do believe monday is the sectional draw so oh awesome which i was going to talk to you today anyway see if we could borrow the library and spread the girls oh, out watch and, that and after school it, we can it, probably it's eight o'clock at night <laughs> we can probably arrange that so use the library because that's plenty of room for the girls to social <laughs> distance and then we can use the big video screen and see who we draw in the section sure sure steve stricker is out there handling all the background stuff for us he says we've got stone tv that's right. We've got Stone TV today. We'll see what happens when you leave, Steve. Yeah. You move south and look what. Stones take over. <laughs> he still handles all that Logistics. background stuff that I have no clue what goes on back there. It, it actually would be kind of interesting to find out. I would. But I need to perfect one thing first, and hopefully we'll handle everything okay. Phil Dean is gone today. I do believe he's camping. I think he said that, too. Yep. So it's gorgeous weather for him. I'm Hoping he has a nice time. Uh, I'm still trying to get my phone to pull something up here. We need Val here. Val's got all the. Yeah. Val Dinosaur. As yeah. Courtney Dunlap <laughs> used to call him. <laughs> I always called him T Val. I think, I thought Valerie Ross Popo called him that, but I'm not sure. Our, let's see, our Dragons are 9 3 and 1. Yes. So they dropped one to Plymouth, they dropped one to Oak Hill, and then. Who's that third one? South and Riley. Oh, the yes, the because of the, yes, there was a forfeit due to some technical. Te um, paperwork didn't get turned in for some foreign exchange students. Foreign exchange students, yes. And then a tie uh, last weekend to Bremen, 2-2, two, two, I think, over there. Which was Bremen is very good. I do believe they're like 8-2. Yeah. So, someone had like told that, me so they weren't that good, and then I was no. saw their record, and they were 7-3, and three, and I thought, yeah. oh, okay, no, they're they're good. <laughs> yeah, they're very good, too. Yeah, so that would have been a good game to see. I, um, Andrean is 4-4, four and four, so. We'll see what this bring game brings. I don't know what. Uh, they play usually. Usually, Andrea plays a pretty good schedule. They, you know, they're yeah. from the region, Maryville area. So right. They probably play some Portage, Chesterton, Maryville. You know, some decent teams they play over there. So. Yeah. Let's see. They've kind of. I'm going to see if they've got any other uh, teams that we also play. But there's not a whole lot on. Well, and that's just what's on Team Reach or Max Preps. If they don't use Max Preps, then I don't see Correct. it. Correct. You won't see it. So, but yeah, they play Griffith. They play Hobart. They play ICHS. I'm not sure what that is. Ili uh, Iliana, maybe? Christian. Yeah. Yeah. They're a new Christian school. Oh, okay. Uh, this, okay. This, honestly, this might be their first or second year. Oh, wow. They might have another one or two years before they're eligible for the IHSAA. Okay. Which, they're, we played them in club last year and two years ago before that and they're a good little soccer team so i bet sometimes those club teams are <laughs> yeah well we've got about 20 seconds we'll have our national anthem and then we'll actually go into play and um, do lineups as the as the teams are beginning their play And the boys are starting to take the field now. And we've got Mr. Shaper running the national anthem and all the good announcing over there. 
you can have that job back. I got to do that the other night for. <laughs> you did against the OD. I did, and I felt so bad for the OD girls. They didn't have any subs. I felt like I was only the Argus announcer. I heard one of their players say, well, they're announcing subs for the boys. And the other girl says, we didn't have any subs. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done that for them. I would have. Yeah. gave out the breakfast this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah, we went to Log House, so. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Joe is Gabe Stone's dad, number seven. Starting on the right side there. And it's actually pretty good for Gabe. He's more left-footed than right. Yes. Yeah. So he can, he can go either. Yeah. Yeah, he can use either foot very well. <coughs> and we've got Jeremy Penrod in the middle, it looks like. I don't know officials. I mean, I know they're. I see them, but I don't remember their names. And right now, we will recognize our country with the playing of the national anthem. Arm was falling asleep. <laughs> Brandon plays the national anthem so well. Play, you play a nice national anthem, Mr. Schaefer. <laughs> All right, so we'll. Either way, if you're cold, you can shut it. Warm, you can open it. I don't care. I'm more worried about everything blowing off the counter. It is pretty windy out. It was coming this way. Okay. Yeah. Giving the ref the thumbs up. Sending mixed signals. <laughs> All right, and the ball is in play. You can, yeah, you. Now let's meet today's starting lines. First for Andrean, number eight, Dylan Barthol, number one, Nicholas Graziani, number 11, Luke, a question, number 14, Patrick Moynihan. Number 15, Gianni Ramirez. Number 10, Samuel Ruiz. Number 6, John Samuels. Number 24, Lee Smith. Leo Smith. Number 16, Caleb Snyder. Number 25, Adam Kazik. And in the goal for the 59ers, number 0, Benjamin Prisby. And Dran is coached by Joseph O'Neill. Now let's meet the starting line for your Argus Dragons. Number 3, Devin Allen. Number 4, Colton Markley. Number 6, Cameron Markley. Number 7, Gabe Stone. Number 8, Karsden McCramer. Number 10, Mike Richard. Number 11, Ted Redinger. Number 15, Caden Nightbone. Number 16, AJ Mills. Number 19, Connor Tracy. And in the goal for the Dragons, number 73, Kirk Johnson. The Dragons are coached by Todd Vanderweel. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to look at any of the names. Nope. All right. Hey, he does it so fast. I well, two games last week or the week before, um, while we were reading announcements, there were goals scored. So <laughs> trying to get them in before, yeah. you know, normally without COVID, we would have those read before the game even starts. And they'd line up. But next Saturday, we will be bringing you senior night on the third. Mm -hmm. Bethany Christian. Um, there is no JV that night. So I will get a varsity start time for that. Looks like. 530. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Nice. Okay, early game that night. That's not. No. And if you're in Argus, uh, the 
town is having an Oktoberfest over at the park. So, hey, you can see the game and then go over and get your dinner. Yeah. Not sure what else goes on with that. I don't have any other information. It's the first time. Um, yeah, so I can't tell you what's going on. Um, they're going to have a, a soda garden. I heard that. <laughs> Thank you for I was going to try and look at you and say, don't say that on here. Yeah, I didn't want to say school. it out loud. You know, a so soda garden. And then there were other, there's a movie that night. I did hear that. Yeah, movie in the park. Yeah. I don't so know which movie they're playing, but you know, it should it's be. It's usually a kid's movie. And it'll get dark now at 8 o'clock as opposed to sometimes when it's dark at 10 and we have to start the movie so late. So Correct. Um, check out the Argus Town website. Maybe there's m some more information on that. Maybe I can find some. I'll look for some more information on that. You might as well. Hey, this so isn't yours from a couple weeks ago, is probably. it? Probably. Probably? Okay. See Andrea in there. Right now they're playing a lot of long ball, trying to hit through balls through the middle here. And I haven't seen how quick their front line is. I mean, to play a long ball, you want that super fast person up front. You're going to have to have us, yeah. We've got, you know, Cameron or Colton Markley back there out of the goal today and playing the back line and Carson McCramer as well. Two very, very quick defenders. Also, Connor Tracy and A.J. Mills rounding out that back defensive line for the Dragons today. Oh, can't let him sneak behind you, boys. Seems like number six and 14 both got some decent speed on them. Mm -hmm. Nice ball. <gasps> oh, Ooh, he's going to want that one back. It's a shot there. I can't see. <laughs> that was a beautiful pass. Nice cross number in the middle. Number six, maybe number three. I yeah. can't see that far. And uh, he turned around. Number, number six. Number six. Yeah, I think uh, he swung at it with his leg. If he would have just left his leg out there and let it deflect off. A little Dutch off, touch. A little, little Dutch, Dutch touch. touch, yeah. It had been in the back of the net. But he swung at it and just carried it right outside the outside the pipe so we got lucky there right. I will say that that got coach Vanderwell off his uh, cooler <laughs> <laughs> <Pretty quick. laughs> he stepped off the cooler he stepped oh he's, oh, he's stepping he off that cooler again he's, yeah, he's he's riled up today he's fired up fired uh, up we'll say Gabe Stone racing to the corner and my lovely wife just brought me a coffee so I am much that was sweet. so happy now the other Amy Stone. Yes. <laughs> Big Amy, little Amy. And yeah. Because I'm tall. It's because I'm tall. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, my wife is short. So all works out. Uh, maybe I won't find that on there. Will I find it on the park department? Maybe. Hmm. Well, if you drive by the Argus Park there yeah. on Walnut Street or State Road 10, as you want to call it. There's a sign, it, isn't there's there? There's a sign. They just got it put up. So you'll be able to see what's going on, what they're going to have there. And it should be a good time. It's family oriented, so it's just not like it's going to be yeah. mayhem and craziness. So, it's been a fun school year. Interesting, hard to believe. Nine weeks are almost done. Uh, can you believe that? I mean, and we got through soccer season. Monday, Monday, almost. Monday almost. is the sectional draw already. Yeah, for boys and girls. The ninth will be the end of the nine weeks for grades. Um, kids have done a very good job adapting to the year. Well, they, you know, kids are resilient. Ooh. I'm surprised there wasn't a whistle on that one. I thought McCramer came up a little bit, but <laughs> but I'm looking through this little window over here, and oh, Ooh. just a bit high. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you call that a shot on goal? That is not a shot okay, on goal. Okay, because it's too high. Too high. But they're Over. close. They're closer than I'd like them to be, but great job there. Um, we don't have paper programs this year, so I have to pull up my. Yeah. That was number 25. Adam Tazic. Drag Dragons are coming out just a little sluggish. I mean, they're not playing bad by any means, but they're just a little sluggish. Need a little wake-up time here. Um, they only had one game this week. Yeah, and it was Thursday. Oregon Davis was, yeah, not the most challenging game. Sometimes no. you, so sometimes it might take them a little bit to get back in there. It, it, it is a new rule this year. They did change the obstruction rule. The ball has to be within play before you can start shielding. Okay. Which means that player had to be able to reach that ball in a and reasonable amount of the time. So it is a new rule this year. So that was I was. So it wasn't a bad call. It's just it's just most people never. See, oh. Never, nice head ball by Devin Allen. Devin Allen trying to get a little slip yeah. ball back. But uh, most people, you still see a lot of refs getting used to that rule, and they don't call it. So Jeremy did call it. So kudos to him. What? Um, Mr. Burkett and I the other night were discussing, Mr. Burkett runs the clock, mm -hmm. the four-minute rule at the end of a half on subbing when the clock stops. Is that like, you know, that the other night so Oregon Davis was ahead, uh, behind. Yeah. We were ahead. That would be if we subbed. 
Correct. Then, now, if Oregon Davis subbed, you wouldn't you stop. You do not have to stop okay. the clock. Is that only in the second half? Yes. Okay. It is. It is only in the second half, and it just stops the time wasting thing that some teams like to like to use. And you know, they're up two one, thirty seconds left. They'll bring a ton of subs up so they waste that clock. Right. And, <laughs> well. And that's it's, what it's, it's for. It's like in, you know, young rec or young travel soccer when you take forever to go get the ball. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and we you know, that young man was way off sides. Referee went to raise his flag and dropped it. Oh, he d- maybe so, the wind caught it. It's so, a little gusty out there today. So by the time the, he got his flag back up to call the off sides, Argus already had the ball and clearing it out of the uh, clearing it out of the box. <laughs> my, s- my sister's calling me. I'm telling her that I can't talk right now because. But she can tune in to RTC. Yeah, then she can talk to you that RTC4.com. Obviously, she can't hear me. Oh, maybe I should tell her that. Yeah. RTC4.com, and th- we have an Argus TV button. That is where you can get Argus action. Uh, next Thursday night, we'll be at the volleyball game for senior night. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I believe we play Culver. Let me check. Yes, Culver Community. With a start time for JV of 5.30. So that should be a good game. See, we had this problem last <coughs> night at the Westview game. They played a deep, deep sweeper, and I kept telling my girls, get up there by her. You, get you up there by there. Our niece, Kelsey, that she would always stay by the last defender. Yes, and I think we could have scored a lot more goals last night if she would have done that. If, yes. If my st- strikers would have so done you, that. So you beat Westview 5-0. Yeah. Had, did you have many different goal scorers? Or just uh, Hannah had two. Anna Trump. Okay. Uh, Ariana Allen had two, and Lily Hyde had one. I heard one of, and Maddie, I heard, had a good cross. I don't know where I heard that. Yes, she had a nice cross. And um, as did. Four of the five goals were assisted, which is I really like to have. I mean, I really oh love yeah. that. I love an unselfish player. Yes, yeah, so uh, so that was very nice. But um, uh, Ariana Allen started the goal scoring off with a little toe poke in the box off a off a cross and from Bella Stoltz. how far were you in Bella Stoltz, she was one. How yes. far were you into the game? Uh, we scored in about the first five minutes, okay. six minutes. I I like uh, – Bella's had, had that one goal against CMA. Oh, yes, very Or nice CGA. Goal. CGA, yeah. Or Culver Academies, whatever they're called now. Um, she is left-footed, but she turned and was able to just kind of poke it right over the keeper's head, which yeah. was a – It was beautiful. Yeah. It was good to see. Um, She's just a sophomore. You've got a very young team this year. I start three freshmen and four sophomores. Yeah. So. And they've put their time in. They, I mean, they're good. I mean, they, you know. It, I've coached them. I've got a. You've I, coached. I've got a great senior that comes off the bench, and she does a wonderful job for us right now. She's tied with the lead of, of scoring on the team. That's Madison Barkas. Yes. Yeah. Co- coming off the bench, so I mean, it's, you know. Sometimes you got to know your, <laughs> your place, and sometimes that place coming off the bench, you're you're. She just seems more comfortable coming off the bench yeah. than she does when she starts. So I just bring her off the bench. She's usually in the first ten minutes of the game and plays well, plays plenty for me and, and does a great job. I think was she your leading scorer last year or close? Uh, Morgan Park. Morgan uh, Dunlap was my leading scorer. Oh, okay. Last year. I knew that at one time I thought she was leading. Mar- Madison she, she did was though. The, she was leading during during the season at one time. She was up eight goals. She if, had eight goals for. If me, I remember so. correctly though, this season did Madison start your scoring off the first game against Kankakee Valley? Correct. Her and Emma uh, Dunlap. Emma Dunlap. Yeah. Yep. So I didn't get to go to that game. I heard that you didn't get home till midnight. <laughs> it was a long trip. <laughs> That's a game you may consider moving to. Um, but I mean, I really enjoy it. Um, I like playing teams like that. They're really fun to play. They're good. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. So playing teams like that, that level of caliber. Yeah. I, you know, I'd rather – this. <laughs> it's 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 fun. Oh, yay, we had nine shutouts. We beat teams 9-0, 10-0. Those to me are, are boring games. They are. I terrible. like the games that – I you know, as a parent when Samantha played, you were out of your chair and it made your heart – race but those are the games you remember those fun games you know yep and it gets you ready for the playoffs yeah because you're usually don't have those walk you know walk, walk through the parks and, you know. no not in oh got two kids <laughs> down oh and oh, colton markley with the exceptional speed he did and and, and andrean was good there i mean they were on top of that they saw that and they were trying to take advantage of that with their speed oh, and good little deflection there by Gage Stone to teddy little. teddy drops it nice there it is a good hit and Andrean really has the box pack. One, they do. two, three, four. They've got five kids in the box, and they like to play the counter. There's, I mean, oh. we're gonna give a shout out to uh, my neighbor Brad Brady. 
He's listening. I don't know if he's here and listening or just listening at home. He says you and I are doing a great job. Oh, tell him thank you. Yeah, thank you. But tell him that he's but here. He should be here. <laughs> Brad's son, Caden, coming back this year after a knee surgery last year. So he actually, the other night, he had some he's speed. Off. Teddy, Teddy really I was, was I was off. happy to see that Caden looked like he was really getting back to. Getting back to form. You know, it takes yeah, a, and it's been a weird it season. It takes a <laughs> long time. And people just think, you know, you have that surgery, you're, you're healed. And it doesn't take, it doesn't work that way. I mean, it takes a long time for that body to get back into shape. Yeah. And soccer shape. And I mean, it's. And uh, I know he was, I believe last year, Todd, he would have been an integral part of Todd's oh, defense last I year with Sam Manikowski. So. And I think if he would have played last year, and not, I'm not taking anything away from last year's team, but. Oh, Gabe Stone, go, Gabe. Lays it across, oh, Gabe. All right, son, you're not getting any dinner tonight. <laughs> hey, he got breakfast. <laughs> I'm tough, Dad. No. Drop that back in the middle, son. But um, Hey, he's my library helper. I'll bring him. Yeah, you can bring him something. That's snacks. right. It's a good little helper. But, yeah, I mean, but I think if Caden was able to play last year in that team, that brings Owen up to the midfield. Brings Owen up to mid midfield, which makes us even more dangerous than we were last year. Yeah. So, yeah. AJ kind of hit him hard. It was a good call. I didn't. I don't see malicious intent out of his no, hit. No, I think it was just a good hard play. Yeah. Sometimes you're just going and you can't stop. And uh, you know, looks like the Dragons have Caden Brady coming into the game, number thirteen, and I'm trying to see the number. They have very small numbers on the front of their jerseys, and looks like number two, two is coming two. in. Two. Yep. Helping Brandon out too. Also. Looks like Kevin Gora coming in for the 59ers. I keep wanting to say 49ers. Well, it's every time I hear the 59ers, it sounds like Scooby Doo. I know, right? Our 59er. Love me some Scooby Doo. Showing our, showing our age. <laughs> Love good old Scooby-Doo. That's right. I asked somebody the other day, remember the electric company? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay, forget nah, it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Conjunction, junction. I always tell the kids, we didn't have cartoons every day. They're like, what? No mm -mm. cartoon network? No, no, no Nickelodeon. No, we had. We got up at 6 o'clock on Saturday morning to watch cartoons. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blows their minds. Poor Lukies. It was a great time back then, though. Oh, yeah. You really you like those cartoons you did get to watch. You Ooh, nice bender. Nice bender. Not, oh. a not a corner, not a corner, not a corner. Good job, AJ. Good job, AJ. AJ Mills, only a sophomore back there, playing very well this year, I think. Mm -hmm. I think AJ gives 110%. He does. He's done a really good job this year. Ball pushed forward there, and 59ers able to. You know, I. The Dragons, they they got to – I mean, they're they're starting to get their groove now, I think. They're starting mm -hmm. to feed with each other. I like it's their one of those, plan uh, to feed. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's hard for a team that – you know, you come back last last year, you played them over there at Andrean, beat them 5-0. So you think this year, well, they might not be a very very easy – or very – But kids grow. Kids, and they do. Kids I improve. Mean, it changes. Even, even with uh, quarantine, you know, that – to me changed your beginning of the season because oh. I don't think your players were in shape like yeah they should go out and run well they don't <laughs> my <laughs> girls still aren't in shape yeah <laughs> I could I mean I'll be honest there. but I think we talked last time you were here do you <laughs> do you work on skills and working together in the season beginning season practices or do you sit there and run them because right I and mean, you know I chose I chose the ball work and ball touches and and the compatibility between each player yeah over, over the running and you know <laughs> couple games would have helped me to be able to run a lot more, yes. But right now, I'm happy with the choice I made. Yeah, what is your record again? Do you tell me? Eight and four. Eight and four. Hey. Yeah, we're on That's a pretty good. five game win streak. That's pretty good. So and you've got, let's see, Bremen today. Bremen and is then Bethany in Christian next um, Friday. Next Friday. And, and we're you done. said that's just, that's at Bethany this year. That's Correct. just a varsity game. Correct. Um, if you want to travel to Bethany. If you are coming to watch a game here, um, they are rolling out a new ticket online, purchase your tickets online. Correct. I think you can go to the athletics. Um, oh, that's 
hardly going to be a trip. Yeah, it's an easy call. Yeah. Um, athletics under our website, the argus.k12.in.us, and you can – I have not yet gone on there. I wish I could explain more. Um, we got an email about it yesterday. And they're going to start moving to that. So and and probably More schools have been moving to that, And yeah. it probably, even after the pandemic ends, if it ever does end, they're probably <laughs> gonna gonna going to stay with forever. it. They're going to stay yeah. w- stay with the online ticket buying. Well, and this year it was it was tough. We usually sell season tickets and and game uh, yep. sports passes, and they were afraid to do that. I think they were afraid that the seasons would get canceled. They'd have all these sports passes that they'd try and have to prorate how many games were left and right, give yeah. refunds. And yeah. some people were like, "I would have just donated the money," <laughs> but right. But, I mean, they can't count on that either. N- yeah, so. How many people would donate? How many want their money back? My, my mom and dad were ones. We would have just donated it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, you would have. And then there would have been that person that said, well, there was 14 games played, and that should be 16 point <laughs> right. 77 uh, cents or whatever. It's not worth a headache for the school. Right. So, hopefully, we'll. Teddy Redinger working the ball on the side. Trying to get an offense going here. Oh, good read by Gabe Stone. Good ball into Devin. Just a little bit hard, but not a bad idea. I wish we had Devin for one more year. Devin yeah. is just turned. Je- Devin just turned seventeen. And he's he's grown senior. so much this year, six inches, I'd say. I yeah. don't know, maybe more. See, that's just unlucky. You know, yeah. People, you know, might yell, "Cars don't do that." He cleared out. That, that kid. Turned. It could have hit differently. That yeah. kid turned. He jumped. Turned backwards. I mean, Dragon. It was, it, it was unlucky. Dragons have Jake Stoltz, number nine, coming into the yeah, game, and Dragon seventeen. Seventeen, Sean Richard, uh, Mike Richard's younger brother, and yeah, then nine, Brandon Richard. just said it, so we're gonna go. He said number seven, I believe, Joseph mm-hmm. Capello, in for the Fifty Niners. Nice job by McCramer. What do you expect out of Bremen today? Um, they won one game. Okay. So. Um, could but you, I'm you know I take every game seriously so we you never know yeah but uh, the game they won they beat Culver High School nine to six so and we are not we did not play Culver High School Culver High year. School dropped us this year okay who who's in our sectional this year uh, Culver okay North Miami Rochester Bremen and Laville and Rochester gave you a good game Rochester gave us a, we played very well against Rochester by moving the ball and. and Playing defeat, and we still only won two nothing. Yeah. So Gabe Stone getting a little lesson there. Um, quit dribbling the ball, son. Oh, oh. Caden Brady letting it slide by. Got an opportunity here for the 59ers. It's yeah, going to be over. Way over. Looks like Colton Markley will be back into the game for the Dragons. Yeah, the Dragons. Coach needed to give him a drink and mm-hmm. and a little advice, maybe. And he's Maybe going the American to fries, two sausage patties, and the pancake Colton Mark they ate this morning at breakfast. <laughs> Slow I up. would like American. I have not had breakfast. I chose. Oh, I had a smoothie. Yeah. But it's not comparable there to American fries and <laughs> Ash brown, pancake. Yeah. And yeah. Good ball. Like nice like settle. Said, nice ball. Oh, uh, we're going to have a goal kick, yep. I think. Yep, goal kick. Okay. Good referee I would not make. I try not to. <laughs> right. I know my limits. Um, I'm not sure he's why he's just coming into the game. We're far enough in the season. Yeah, he's going to. Andrean trying to sub there without, yeah, being called in. Patrick Moynihan, number 14, coming in for the – he must have just forgotten. Yeah. Yes, you always want to be waved in by the referee, never just walk on the field. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to end up good for anybody. No, not at all. See, that's just a great hustle play by Andrean right there. Sean, My- Sean Richards thought for sure it was going out of bounds. And, and they proved him wrong. He kind of quit and <laughs> quit at going after it, and this kid just went right around him. So. And, you know, Sean's a freshman out there. Sean's a kid that uh, – Yeah, and he's a big kid. I mean, he's – and he's He grew – he had some quarantine growth. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's playing very well. Good move by Jake Stoltz he right did, there. He did, yeah. He kind of squatted down, let it go over his head, and used that to his his advantage. And Yeah, Sean's another kid. Sean and Mikey both, they work, I mean, 100, 110%. There's a lot of boys out there that yeah, they work hard. They're giving their all. That's why they're on varsity.
And that the ball did not come did in, not come so in. they will have the ball, the throw in where the original throw in took place. Correct. And the wind, I believe, probably caught that a little bit. And just took it right back out yep. of bounds. Goal kick. Nice job there by the 59ers. We do. Mr. Schneider's up here with us today for whom the field is named, and he says we need a goal before halftime. Brandon, can you announce that Mr. Schneider's <laughs> Let them know that. I think that's. I think that would probably rile them up. <laughs> Mr. Schneider says we need a goal before halftime. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. I love a good game. Jog, jog, jog. We do have about 75 degrees out there today. Real yeah. feel 79. I'm about ready to uh, shed my sweatshirt. <laughs> John Samuel's back into the game for Andrean, number six. And it looks like number 14, Ben Rangel, coming in for the Dragons. He's another young young kid. I really I like really like the way he, he plays. is. And I've noticed that Todd uh, usually he's a defensive player, and yeah. Todd has kind of moved him up a little bit and this he year. Is, he's he playing he mid, or yeah. is he playing? He might be up top right now okay. with Teddy. But uh, okay, I yeah. did not see. He's him. Uh, he came in for Devin, I believe. Yes, he's a strong, fast kid and young, and his skills have improved greatly. I mean, he's he's gotten better. So I would see where this keeper positions himself. And if he leaves that back post open like that, man. Especially Sean Richard. Sean or Teddy will get ahead on that ball. So I think that's kind of what they were. Or Ben, maybe. I would have launched that right in the back of the net there. <laughs> well, my daughter would have, too. Yes. She loved a good free kick. <laughs> Settle there by Stone. Stone's been moved to the – got rolled over a little bit. He didn't fall down. Oh, got a lively crowd here for the 459ers. remember going over there a few years ago. That's oh, – I yeah, advised that's Jacob to set up on this side. Um, yeah, that's a good call. I – Way to crash the net, boys. I, yeah, I think we were a little. Was that sarcasm? I apologize. Okay, I was hoping you were being sarcastic because I didn't. <laughs> they were standing there well, like a me. house next to the road. You know me. What's my motto? Yeah. I like to assist, not. I like to be an assistant coach. I don't like to be the head coach. And in my point of view, <laughs> I kind of thought they could have crashed a little harder. And that's. Okay. Yeah. You were being sarcastic. Good. I was. I was. Yeah, because one more step. They were just standing there watching. A second earlier. Yeah, they got. Yeah. They caught the. They caught. They got caught napping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the famous words of Andy Stone, the keeper got caught napping. Caught the keeper napping. Well, now, Ted started the other night out a little. He was a little frustrated at the beginning of the game. Um, and what was the game before that? And then he came, you know. I always think sometimes, oh, bad first. Whoa, there's definitely hands to the back on yeah, that one. that was a little silly. And I <laughs> can't think that he doesn't, he's going to question that. And, yes, he keep, did keep your hands it, on your sides is what someone yelled. Keep your hands on your sides, yes. See, I mean, an obvious two hand shove to the back is probably going to be called every time. Ask for 10, Gabe. Oh, that was a good ball. Oh, oh good idea. Another Dutch touch opportunity. Just that little tap. Yep. Got a sub coming in for Andrean. I want to put white numbers on their shorts. 10's the number. Samuel Ruiz, number 10, coming in. Oh, look, Brandon needs the binoculars because they give me a headache. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I wear glasses or I don't know how to use them properly, but <laughs> I have to one-eye it. And our kids, I know. The other team, obviously. I High kick. Dangerous play. 
Uh, boys also have a conference game Thursday against the Academy. Yes. Over at the Academy, from what I've been told for other games, there are no fans allowed. No, but I think if what I understand, everybody's going to be parking on State Road 10 and watching. So they're probably going to block State Road 10. Here was what I thought. <laughs> I was talking to someone. I'm not going to say who I was talking to. And they said, well, <laughs> if they don't want fans and we want to watch the game, why can't they come over here and play? And I said, mm, I, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't make these decisions because yeah. I don't have that power. But. I understand they want to keep the kids safe, and that's that's, that's their fine. most important. Yeah. Oh, then you end up giving you end up giving a corner anyway. Yeah. But that was a great play. It was a great play by number sixteen, mm -hmm. I do believe, to keep it inbounds, and then he just end up kicking it out. But it was a great save by number sixteen from the fifty niners. I love saying that fifty niners. <laughs> Minor 59. That's right. Was that what it was? Uh, Zoinks. Oh, Sean. Oh. Sean Richards get his head on The it. goalie came out, and that was – I was like, oh, yes, yes. If we can get a head on it, we can – okay, we've got number one, Tomas Gutierrez, coming into the game. He is our foreign exchange student from Spain. Looks like Connor Tracy's still out on the back four. Who yep, Gabe Stone. I, you know what? That was what I started saying. Gabe Stone has been moved to the left, um, left back defender. Yep. yep. And then he got he got fouled. So that I, that I knew I had a thought in my head, but Gabe's one of those. Uh, what do you want to say? Universal players. Versatile. 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 Yeah. Play anywhere. Todd needs him for something. He'll let him play there. A little dangerous. Gabe. Nice job there. And Gabe Stone saves a goal. <laughs> Great job, Gabe. Dove. Coming from the oh, side. Oh, he's calling a goal kick. Wow, he called that a goal kick, Mr. Snyder. Oh, I didn't see. Was I was <laughs> too, I, there was too, so much action there I didn't see all uh, that. Clearly out on Gabe, but, hey, you know what? I'm not going to. Now, it. now, you're up here. They're down there. That's right. I'll take it. Maybe it went off the mystery player. Caden Brady coming back in for the Dragons and – what number was that for Andrean? Uh, number 25. Tazik. 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 At least you're right half the time. That's right. Yes, we're not responsible for any mispronounced names. We try our hardest. We do apologize, though, too. Uh -huh. if oh, yeah. Bad. Adam. We can say Adam. That one we can pronounce. Adam 12. Adam 12. Again, aging myself. Yes, that's an old I used to <laughs> emergency, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We watched that. I like the sirens. <laughs> do, do, do. Mm. And I that do believe that's your brother's gosh, ringtone, as a matter of fact. That would be Marks. my younger Mark loved the fire. Yeah. yeah, again we have the ball not coming in. I think it's the same player. Um we'll have the ball where it was originally thrown in. There are no offsides on a throw in. Oh, well oh, done. Nice ben, job, Ben. Ben Rendo. Good hustle play to get us a corner right there. Well done. Smart play. Jake Stoltz taking the corner kick. That's a tough one to take into the wind. Nice little floater. Oh. Oh! Mikey Richards. You know, it, it We've got an instant replay here. He is able. No assist. It bounced off an Andrean player off his back. But the, the amazing thing was, as you just saw that replay, Sean Richard had both hands on that kid's back trying to go up for a head ball and nothing. No call, and it bounces off and goes in. And yeah. Mikey Richard puts it in. So. And left footed again. Mm -hmm. Oh, now Mr. Schneider would like two goals. So Man, um, yeah, we'll work on that, Mr. Schneider. This guy is hard to please. <laughs> is there fly? I don't know. Yeah. Have a dragon throw in. I don't believe we started Boy, playing in drain. I do believe. Let's see. Vinny's sophomore year. And was that just Vinny's sophomore year? Yeah, 
and that's when we started playing Andran, and I don't believe that the Dragons have ever lost to them. I just remember the girls played them, what, one time? They one never t- came over here. We yeah. went over there. It was 2017, Samantha senior year, yes. and they had won state the year before. We and had they, ba- they had, had the banner ceremony and all that, and they came out and scored first. Yes, and first five minutes. And I think they thought it, it was going to be an easy game for them, and then we actually won 4-1. to one. Yeah. We had, yeah. Showed them a little uh, what we could do. Lady Dragon action mm-hmm. there. I will say, if you ever come to a game and you want to yell as a fan, that's fine. Just please know the rules before you do. That's got a dragon foul. Sean Richard kicked him right right in the side, tried to hit that. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, if you if you want to yell and say things, just please know the rules because I always I learned years ago that it's better not to say anything. (laughs) And if you want to learn the rules, just let me know. I'll give you my rule book. Yeah, or become a referee. That's the other thing that. Kids aren't playing well, or they're getting beat. Don't take it out on the referees, Mm-mm. or the coaches, or Sometimes the players. Sometimes the other team is just better. Yeah. I'm not saying that today. I've just I've yeah. watched a couple games this it year. It happens. I watched a couple games, and it was just you know what? Sometimes they're the better team. No, I didn't. Well, the academy. We yeah, they were th- the girls' team. We lost five to one to the academy. You know, they were a better team. That is a good example. I didn't yell, didn't scream, didn't yell at the refs, didn't say anything to them. It's like we're getting our butts kicked right now. That by a better Samantha, team. Mm, I can't think of her name. She was, yeah, she was a good player. We got Devin Allen and Ted Redding are coming back in for the Dragons, giving Mike Richard and Tomas Gutierrez a break. Nice hustle there by both teams. That wind feels like it might be picking up. A little bit. I thought he was going to be able to slide and save that uh-huh. one. He did a good job passing the ball to the keeper he for sure the goal did. kick. Yeah. <laughs> Got about eight minutes left Got here. Got to look at the positives, Brandon. Got to look at the positives. <laughs> That's right. Good portion. Yeah. He hustled just so he can get that ball and kick it out. You know, sportsmanship is a... I don't we had we had really good sportsmanship yesterday in the girls' game. I mean, it several times. But Coach Yoder, Ryan Yoder for uh, Westview, him and I are really good friends. Okay. We, we talked to each other two or three times during the scene school year and probably uh, 10, 11, 12 times this year before the season even started. I mean, we're really good friends. And, uh, oh, good ball there you know, by Rangel. Both teams just played such great sportsmanship yesterday. And uh, – um, it's always always fun to play them. I kind of learned, you know, when we played basketball in high school, we weren't very good. We tried, though, and we tried our hardest. Mm-hmm. And uh, Oh, a corner kick. Great save. Nice shot. Um, Great save. But just go out every game and – Just play. Yeah, just play. They're, you're, you know what? We're in high school. These kids are in high school. Um, I, you know, uh, I'll give an example. Last night, Caden Bothman mm-hmm. put her out there. She ran through a couple girls, but she always stopped and helped them up. Good. And, you know, always said sorry. You could tell. You tell what, like you said earlier, what the malicious or you know, no malicious yeah. intent, just playing hard. And she's I, she's like a bull in a china shop. She reminds me of Hannah Harrell. <laughs> yeah, she she plays fun. she plays great, and you know I, I love a girl, but you know sometimes she gets a lot of control, and that happens. I've coached her, so I I know and exactly what you're talking about. And you just but uh, she also gets there and gets that ball and gets it out of there. Yeah, she, play, she played times. very well yesterday for me. So, oh, yeah, we're gonna help. Yeah, it is on us. That's a good call. Jake, uh, excuse me. AJ. AJ stopped his momentum by going there. Yeah. Okay. He, the kid did have his arm out, which looked, you know, like a But he stopped right in front of him. But he stopped okay. right in front of him. That kid had no place to go, so he initiated okay. the contact. So that was a great call. Gotcha. I, I don't know if he did that. I doubt he did. No, I think he honestly, he was trying to go for the ball and just missed it. And, and, and then stopped. <laughs> then stopped. And the okay. Kid. Thank you for explaining that call. Yeah. Oh, uh, that um, was – I'm going to say Ben Ringel, that was the right play. Teddy should have been making a diagonal there. He didn't. That I was the right call by they're Ben. They're discussing that right now, yeah. I believe. So. I think you do get used to playing with your, your peeps. You do. <laughs> you, you know, do. he's probably you used to playing with Mikey. who maybe He's used to playing with Mikey. He's used to playing with uh, Devin Allen up there. Mm-hmm. He's not used to Ben, so, you know, he's not on the same wavelength. But that was you a good call. Say? 
you know. I see that out of Tobin Heath in the women's national oh, team. Oh, yeah. So she often plays the ball. Her foot skills are amazing. And yeah. And often plays the ball into a position and then no one – thinking someone won't be making that run or making that move. And that you know, Tobin Heath, Abby Wambach, I mean, all those girls. They good run there by Stone. He almost had it. They make great – ball decisions because they know how to play with each other. So they mm -hmm. play so much together. Good ball movement by both teams, really. Honestly, yeah. Ooh, A.J. Mills sacrifices Andrean his back. Is, uh, right now the Dragons are finding out Andrean is a lot better of a team than they were last year. Mm -hmm. See, that's where Argus does really good right there. We learned just to hang on to the ball, possess it. If you ever watch. We are dangerous. I always tell the younger kids, ever watch like a premier game it really, truly is a big, huge game of keep away. It, it is. It's all it is. And and if you you can't score if you don't possess the ball. So I mean, it becomes a possession game, which is why you don't see. I mean, you hear in the younger grades, boot it, boot it. You don't hear that in this because they don't want to boot it. They don't want to lose that possession. Oh, they want to. You still hear it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you want, well. <laughs> you don't. You don't ever want to hear it. Depends but you do. who you're playing. Teddy Redinger would really like to get a goal before halftime. I can tell. Yeah. He was trying to move that ball over to his right foot so he could get that shot. Although he can, he can, use he his can shoot both, yeah. yes. Caden Brady knocking it down, getting it out of bounds. Yeah, he is. He's a good good player. Oof. Kirk got a little late jump on that. I was checking out the oh, guy well in done. the back. <laughs> Cameron Markley, well done. Nice ball. Oh, oh, nice little knockdown nice there. Play. Oh, that was sweet. Pass to nobody. Uh, number 15, wavelength, as we were just discussing. Teddy's now offsides in an offside position. I guess he's not offside. He's in an offside position. Oh, nice bit of athleticism there. Ooh, well, and it was out. Oh, okay. It was a goal kick, yes. Okay. Let's say it was. Looks like Mike Richard will be coming back in. We've got about a little over three minutes left. The Dragons are ahead, 1-0. And we've got Luke Schaefer on camera. We are yeah. training some some new cameramen this year. We're taking over and starting kind of a little audiovisual club. It looks like he's doing a good job. He's Staying doing a good right job. He play. got to practice the other night, uh, the games against Was that OD? the OD? Yeah. Girls game he got yep. to practice? So yeah. we kind of recorded that one. We didn't commentate. We just let the kids. And that's fine because, uh, you know. Wasn't one the of JV girls watch. hardly ever get a game recorded, so it was a good one. So I told Phil to make sure you. Uh, we will make sure you can see that. Yeah. So we want to make it available for him to be able to watch it anyway. So even if I get it to you and then, yeah. Right. And was that? Did you think that was a foul? I. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. Okay. Right now, right now, right now, right now. What are you yeah, doing? he's no one's. Is no one talking to him? Good hustle there by Adam. Tazic, Tazic, <laughs> and Jake Stoltz, and Jake Stoltz, yes. But no one talked to Jake to let him know that hey, somebody's on your, yeah. on your back. Good hustle out of both teams today. Oh, not a bad ball, but if that ball was on the ground, that would have been so. And that, I think the Dragons are hanging on to it too long today it's almost like they don't have as much time as oh, they're begging for a call they are for what the ball was already cleared out there might have been a little bit of a push after the play but i mean come on play the game quit begging oh gee if that was the case that was a great touch by ben Ringo. at your game against cma that would have been called all the time oh yeah that was every play was you'd kick the ball and they'd knock you down afterwards i wasn't sure Good job there by Ben getting around and getting a little tap over to Sean Richard. Ooh, lots of <laughs> little pinball pinball wizard going on out there. It is today. I don't know how many times people have been kicked in the back today. I, we need a tilt sound here. Maybe I can get Steve to get us like ding a little, ding uh, ding. yeah, recording or a synthesizer that plays. You have dogs barking and drums and something. So girls are over at Bremen at 3 o'clock today. Yep, bus leaves at 145. Oh, Gabe. 
And then you, you are. I'm done until next Friday. Okay. Boys also, JV boys, JV who has had very, very few games this year. We've got a foul on Caden Brady. Yep. Had a little 50-50 ball there, but ref saw something else. Uh, boys played Tippy Valley Tuesday night, JV boys too. Oh, nice. And they have no varsity game or JV game against Bethany. We do not want a goal here. I mean, that would. He was offsides anyway. Oh, he was offsides. <laughs> yeah, referee had his flag up. <laughs> Boy, this has been a great half of yes, action here. It's been fun. All right. Well, we are going to go into halftime. Dragons lead 1-0. Um, we're going to get you some commercials here, and then we'll just – we may have a little dead space in between, but we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Lack of trying from both teams. I mean, there's been some good soccer out there. We've got Jacob Stone with us on the microphone. Hi. <laughs> he w thinks he wants to try to talk, so – We'll see if we can let him. If not, we're going to hand the mic over. Joe Stone had to leave and uh, go to his own game over in Bremen. The bus is leaving here shortly, so he's got to get the girls around. Um, we've got Brandon Schaefer up here who, if Jacob decides he's not talkative enough, will hand that mic over to Brandon Schaefer. And <laughs> he's always a pleasure to talk to, and he'll do double duty on the announcing. And we'll get you some second-half action here. Jacob, what do you think of the first half? There's been some rough plays rough between plays? both teams. And to be honest, both teams are working really hard, especially so, uh, Ben Rangel. He's been trying to do a lot of good plays. It's just he's newer to varsity side. So I say it's I, it really you're just You're right. It's an adjustment. Yeah. And th I also think he um, – last year, if I remember correctly, he basically played defense. So he did. moving up in that front line, um, your sister did that. You know, she basically played defense all the time. And moving mm -hmm. up to the front line, it's, it's a different style of play. You've yeah. got different uh, goals but at the end there. <laughs> a goal. <laughs> <laughs> so – Yeah, but Ben's smart, and he'll adjust easily. And yeah. Everybody else will just need to, and to adjust and to him. Play exactly, adjust to him. We, we Uncle Joe and I kind of talked about that, talking about – um, when you're used to playing with certain people, you kind of get used to where they go, and and yeah, just to this would be a game to practice though before you get into your tourney. Mm -hmm. So looks like yeah. Andrean's got the ball down on our end. Yeah. Yeah, these are almost as dangerous, I think, as corner kicks. Sometimes, yeah, big throw into the wind. Huge throw. Dangerous ball up in the air, and it's going to be a goal kick. Whew. To me, I think Argus is somewhat out of it when it comes to moving up because uh, last half on, uh, I think it was a corner, that when they got the ball, they just started walking, and Coach Elmer, the JV coach, but also assistant coach for varsity, yelled for them to move up, run up, oh, okay. don't walk. And there I was another time that Uncle uh, Uncle Joe and I thought that they were, ooh, sticky ball. Um, the ball was in the 18, and it was like they weren't, if they if they would have pounced on it. Yeah. And, and and followed that shot. Right before they had their little free kick, I think it was Caden Brady. He s decided to slow down instead of speed up and get and that ball And he may have read that, there. yeah. And he may have thought someone else was coming, too. Caden's coming back off his yeah. off his injury. and he and Although his break. speed the other night, I was I was quite pleased with his speed. You know, it's tough to come back from a knee injury, and I, you always worry if you'll have that same mobility and strength that you had before. But he seems to be doing a good job. I'm thinking he's just – it's been a while. And yeah. And he doesn't quite know how things work because it's a newer team. Well, newer and, he's playing and he's playing with different people back there. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're exactly right. It's tough. It gives you a new perspective, too, doesn't it? No. Gabe Stone taking the ball in. Nice little touchback. Oh, and Sean Richard kind of swinging a miss there. Oh, that wasn't good Sean. opportunity. That oh, was, not sorry. Mike, Mike Rich. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Sean. It was Mike Richard there. Oh, oh and try and Andrean's really got that box packed with yeah. players. Devin and Gabe are trying to yes, get the Mike ball. Yes, Mike Richard. Oh, good push by, by Cam. Oh, unlucky. We've got the mullet squad on the field. <laughs> I've looked at all the other teams to see if maybe that mullet fad is just an Argus thing. and It is. <laughs> that's kind of the conclusion I've come to. And it's fine. I think us moms need some 
Clippers and no, no, maybe no. I know a mom where we could get some Clippers, so we might have to contact her. <laughs> She's our neighbor. <laughs> you know that. Yes, Mr. Brady's listening too. Yeah, if you're listening and you want a shout out, send us a message. Jacob doing double duty. He's helping Luke out on the camera and as they both kind of learn how to how that stuff works. Nice breezy day today. Looks like the wind's actually shifted. Not in the good way. <laughs> For us anyway. It's Actually, going towards our goal, that'll benefit Andrean. Got a little, oh, that was a nice ball. Ooh. A little goal kick there by Caden Brady. And easily snagged there by Johnson. Oh. I thought he said John Stamos. Whew. Got celebrity. Dangerous play, maybe? No? I have returned. I have a dragon foul. Hmm. And this ball could really float with the wind. Oh, that was a big kick. Kurt was there to grab yep, it. Yep, great job by Kurt Johnson. You know how scary that can be. Jacob's played goalie before. Uh, well it one little miss bounce. I mean, you really got to be on your toes on those free kicks. In those situations, what would be actually scary is when you see the other player run up. So it's best not to freak out and drop the ball. Yes. And give them the goal. Keep your cool then, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, almost had a handball there. Seems that both crowds are a little rowdy. The ball today. does actually need to touch <laughs> the hand. I'm not sure if it did. I didn't see the angle. It did not. He did move his hand in a funny position, but that doesn't. Mm -hmm. Same as I like to say, just because someone falls down, that doesn't mean it's a foul. <laughs> yeah. Let the rest call the game and. Let them do their thing. Jake Stoltz taking the ball up the side. Ooh. And the AR be. called a foul, and the center official has said no. Because nope, he's going to. Okay, wow. Okay. That was a weird play there. Mm -hmm. weird. They didn't call the first one, but they called. I, mean, I didn't really see what happened. That first one was not a foul. He just tripped, and I guess from the way it looked on his angle, it looked like he got tripped up by it the could dude be. He, he, he also could have seen something that we can can't see up here. Yeah, it's fine, though. Honest. Nice little ball in by Brady. Dragons, they need to talk to each other. To be honest, Mike Richard with the ball has a man coming on. Both teams are decently physical. Mm -hmm. And hustling today. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Coach Joe. Bye, Uncle Joe. <laughs> And nice, Mama nice staying for the game. <laughs> a nice, nice send. Good idea. Offsides just, called just on Mike unlucky. Richard. Just a little unlucky. Or Ted. Nope, that's Ted. 
Come on, Professor. <laughs> learn your learn your players. I was looking at hair. They all have some. Yeah, they I'm telling you, we need some scissors and some. Hey, Mike has a perm. Teddy I know, and his is blonde, and I know shush. <laughs> Ted just has a lot of Ooh. hair. Slight push by uh, Tevin, but I guess the ref didn't see it. Nice through ball by Gabe, number seven. Oh, good Ooh. ball back to the 18, just missed there by Allen. Good, good thing little ball, Cam Cameron was there. Markley's going to little fancy footwork. Oh, it's in the air. It's all about the first bounce. He's going to win it. And it seems to me that Colton got it. <laughs> and looks like a corner. Now, he, if that would have gone to the goalie, he could have picked it up because it hit, yes. As long as you don't purposely kick the ball back to the goalie, if it hits your head, if it hits any part of your body, you can. And our cameraman but today is doing pretty good. He's doing a good job, isn't he? Yeah. I just had to go down there to fix one little thing, tell him a couple things, and... Yeah, and That's we'll fine. watch these games, too. He hasn't been doing D too bad. Better than me on my first go couple of days. I think doing soccer games is hard because it's hard to see the little screen when it's bright outside. And and basketball will be easier. I think both crowds are getting a little rowdy. Both crowds are rowdy, yeah. Sometimes it's nice. We can sit up here and shut the windows. <laughs> Gabe yeah. Stone with the ball on the side. He's going to get around. Swing 16 is very fast. And a head ball. Oh my. What a what a play. We'll get an instant replay on that one. Gabe with the yeah, Gabe like God tier beats cross. the player. What a cross. Nice cross and head ball perfect there by perfect. Devin Allen. Devin was just saw the cross and he decided just let me Yeah, that's take great. The play. So Dragons now lead two 0 There's our second goal. Mr. Schneider wanted that first half. We ten minutes in. We to be honest, it's a really good game. It'd be more fun if both teams were scoring, but our defense no, has picked okay. it up. Ooh, our little. defense has definitely picked it up. I thought the arm came I away from that. the body there. Ooh. Ooh, I shouldn't have said anything. I bel well, and I believe that's about their third one that has been quite close. That I think the uh, defense has gotten. They've gotten, they snuck right through there. They're quick, though. Yeah. All I was. Yes. To be honest, the defense is more awake, but I think their offense is pretty fast. So they, they are. They need to be. And physical. I kind of thought they had a little arm away from the body on that. They need to some strategies and different and talk, formations, Yeah, talk maybe, to each other. And talk. Yeah. And yeah. Kurt can be vocal and tell where. Kurt's done a good job where. this year of talking and letting him know. Well, it's easy when you're in the. I don't goal. mean easy, but when you're in the goal, you can see the whole field. So yeah. when you're talking, you can kind of tell people what they can't see. Yeah. When I was in goal, I'd always tell people, watch this dude. He might make a run. Yeah. Or be careful. The ball is on left side, but it looks to me that that person loves switching field. Mm hmm. And all that means is just kicking the ball across the field. Argus throw. I can't see that far. <laughs> <laughs> Just seems to me it bounced off one of the Andrean players' mm -hmm. feet right at the end. Ooh, a good slide tackle to the ball. Ooh. Mm-hmm was not a smart play by them, but it's fine. Dangerous. dangerous. A little dangerous, yeah. Mm -hmm. If anything worse happened From behind. If anything worse happened to Gabe, that might have been a card, but well, he Gabe came is from tough. Behind. He's, he could have been a card, came from behind. Yeah, but so we've Gabe got is tough, and mm -hmm. he seemed, seemed to Devin me that Allen he got it pretty well. Devin Ooh, Allen will chip this one in. Cross, decent we'll cross, Oh, unlucky. Whew. Ouch. That's going to leave a mark. Solid, <laughs> solid <laughs> kick. AJ Mills running for the ball. Takes a, s takes a small step. 
find Takes stone. A big hit. They're they are talking and they have almost the absolute same wavelength. Mm-hmm. A good cross, but unlucky that it rolled back. That wind is killing him. Now, what could Cameron have done? Turn his hips toward the... He could have turned his hips towards the... Looks like we've got Leo Smith, number 24, coming in for Andran. Solid hit by Andran. Nice head by Cameron. Like an Argus uh, free kick here. Mm -hmm. I think today Jake is working really hard off of his recent concussion and amnesia. I feel like it hasn't really affected him all that much. Gabe is going to take a kick. A good head. Oh, oh, oh. oh what, a, what a goal. What a goal. No goal? No goal. Oh, no. Let's see here. Was a dangerous Offside? play. Offside? Uh, he may have dangerous play, maybe, because he was on the ground for a I bit. I don't know. I couldn't see what he called. I didn't. Uh, danger. I high kick, maybe. I don't know. I didn't see any. No, because the, the other kid was back behind him. I'm pretty sure it was dangerous play because Kay. he was on the ground for quite a while. Sorry, we lost our scoreboard oh. camera there for a minute. Eh. We've got it back up now. Hold on. Uh, nice little back well foot flick, and Gabe Stone gets a foot on it, and Andrea clears it out. Looks like they're having a strong through ball. I think they love playing it. Uh huh. But they need to rethink their that's strategy because Kurt one will always just come out if he gets the chance. Right. Well, in a through ball, that's, and that's any one way to should. play. Ooh, push. Yep, hands to the back. Going to be an Andrean foul. Look to me, you just beat him on his back. but <laughs> they're Andrean's way more physical than Argus, and Argus is... I see that a lot of from teams in the region. Um, sometimes you go into different areas of the state, mm -hmm. and they just play differently. Yeah, and because they are more lenient with certain rules, because mm -hmm. more and more schools over there are a little more physical. Ooh. He slid. I didn't see anything on I that one. I think he got kicked in the back by accident. Uh. Even if he. Oh, Whoa, can dangerous yeah, play. He can't play it from the, the only thing he did wrong there was that he played the ball from the ground. What he should have done was just quick hop up instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm steal my mother's water. They don't care to hear that. I know, but it's entertainment. <laughs> Jonathan's laying down over there. He's, he's comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good manager over there. Our manager's laying down. He's getting a suntan today. Need Ooh, baseball. <laughs> they usually call those headballs, though. Huh? <laughs> this is true. It's Just with a broken nose. Ooh. Looks like he tripped on himself and then. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not sure on that one. That's okay. I always want to go back and watch these. All right, Kurt's prep enough. He's probably going to try getting a wall made. Probably not, actually, because it's basically almost like a corner. Just You've got your front post and back post players. Of course, you got a good one on that back yeah. post because Colton Markley's. But Kurt is. Three time all conference goalie, so. Kurt should be nervous here because this area. Anytime you have a free kick that close to your goal, I would be yeah. nervous. At least it wasn't a PK. At least it was on the outside. Right. 
Argus is really good at clearing it out, but we've got congestion in the center of the field. I would say let's play the ball wide and get some of that drawn out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ball boy John. <laughs> Wearing his lacrosse shirt that I said, don't you think you should buy? <laughs> he doesn't oh, care. Oh, he doesn't. It's John. Hard send. Very big through ball. Looks to me, Andrean's trying to get find a weakness or mm -hmm. a type of strategy to do. Yeah, they get one goal there back in this. For the most part. Good use of the body. Good throw. It's a gorgeous day. Good day for soccer. Good head. Ball. Gonna win it. And Drain wins it. But did they? They did, but then they didn't. What they should go. have done was settled it and then made a play across the field because there's less players on that side. Looks like Ben Rangel will be giving Devin Allen a break. That's a good thing. Get a drink of water. Have a chat with Coach. And Ben can show what he's made of. I think the Markley boys are are on the same wavelength when it comes to ideas mm -hmm. and plays. And that comes with the territory of being brothers. And twins. Not anymore. <laughs> Born on the same day, not identical anymore. Oh. Ooh, good head, good setup, good setup. Aw. Gabe Stone gets good another game. head on it. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, it still taps Gabe Stone and Oh, oh great save. Good save. save. He's good to Great get low. Great defense by the 59ers. He's good. To, that keeper was good to get low. Uh-huh. Ooh. If the goal was to get it as close as you could get without getting a goal, that would have been. Ooh. Good send forward to Teddy. Ooh, good ball. Oh, unlucky hit. Oh, oh. almost a good recover. Sometimes it's I think in. today has been the swing and the miss day. We've had some swings and misses. Yes, we have. Our cameraman is keeping up with this really well. Ooh, solid hit, but probably should have looked up before. We all that defenders. Yeah. I think they're just pounding away at the goal until they get mm -hmm. more. Which is a solid strategy when they have good plays and... Yeah, and, and you never know when it and could. And it's the best way to keep the defenders all nice and ready. Give them a break. You never know the when they're going to hit that hole. Hit another through ball. Yeah, Gabe Stone with a little cross. Oh, keeper almost snatches it, and Mikey almost gets a left in. Ooh, good send. Oh, oh. what a shot by Cameron. We'll have our instant replay on that. Snuck by. Nobody expected this. Yeah. Cameron started by Gabe Stone with that first cross, and like you said, if he you just settles it and then he looks up, it just yeah. seems to bounce over one of the defenders' feet. You know, you keep which is unfortunate. Keep playing. I didn't see if you keep playing it. I know Colt or Cameron settled it. He did. I don't know. If I don't know if Freddie. Uh, It looked like it bounced off one of the defender's feet and then over where the keeper was trying to I'll get have it. To, we'll have to watch the instant replay after. We just did. <laughs> and we had uh, Connor Tracy come into the game for the Dragons. He's very fast. And looks like now Nate Manikowski. With the Dragons up 3-0, he's going to put Nate Manikowski, sophomore, in for Ted Redinger. Solid throw. He snuck in there, didn't he? Oh, that, yeah, he was. <laughs> I know afterwards we can watch the little instant replay, but. <laughs> I 
I did find if I watch them in the library on the big screen, I can see a lot better. <laughs> wow, it's like it's on I the big know, screen. I know. <laughs> the power of technology. Gabe puts a send into the box. Nice drop. Oh, good little cutback there by McCramer. Who's getting through? Gabe settles it. Shoots. Nope. Another cross. I feel one of those he is going to hit someone and just and they're gonna in. yeah because he's <laughs> had, Gabe's had great crosses. Yeah, this that half that one was a little one of far those is gonna hit someone in the head. <laughs> and into the goal. Purposely hit them. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a corner. Oh, if you're watching the game and you're here, you can get some deals at the concession stand right now. <laughs> Why would they watch the <laughs> game while they're at it? I don't know. Yeah, they want to listen to you, Jacob. That's what it is. Yeah. No? My deep 15-year-old voice. Um, Andrea and goal kick. They have really good, powerful, like, kicks. Yeah. Uh, You'll noticed. find that at this high school level, bud. Really? You don't say... <laughs> But you don't expect a send from like halfway of their half all the way to the goal. That doesn't or surprise from me there. Your sister, goal. your sister had. Well, Samantha. Well, geez, that has to be a foul on them, I would think. Yeah, so I was gonna say they kind of pulled Caden Brady down there. And then here comes the fans. Of course, I'm not surprised, which is why. But I feel like if well, Caden Brady was pulled down. I is what I saw. I could be wrong yeah, there. No, he got pulled down. If I saw that, and I was a fan uh, on Argus side, and which is why and sometimes it does better not to yell anything. Mm -hmm. Got a couple subs. Wait to come in for the Dragons. Fifteen. Gabe puts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> We're getting a little <laughs> chippy out there. Um. When I play, I tend to. Looks Caden Nifong and uh, Sean Richard, number 15, Caden Nifong, number 17, Sean Richard coming in for the Dragons here on the next dead ball. When I play, I tend not to try to get rough, so. And I'll make it sure. It goes back to the first half. We were talking about some sportsmanship Ooh, stuff. Good tackle, good tackle. Ooh. Again, this might we be a goal don't want to see. I'm not sure. Oh. He did He did give him high five after he ran him over. <laughs> Good sportsmanship. Yeah. Unlucky. Yeah. Looks like Caden is taking this kick. It was a solid hit to Nate Manikowski. Nate. A little tap over. Nate has also grown quite a bit this year. Gabe puts a send. Oh, Nate wasn't there for it, which is unfortunate. But I'm guessing Nate needs to also get used to that yep. wavelength. I f I don't like to hear clapping for knocking someone down. Unfortunately, he, he clipped the back of his feet. And that's a foul. That's foul. <laughs> that's nothing he can do, I don't think. I don't kn know that it was malicious. He just, it, it was unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's going to be a card. We're going to stop the clock. That's you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to call ten yards for it. it you never have to. You I mean, that's the rule. Ten. But he was standing far back, and he that's ran not into the, the kick. That's so not the first yellow card I've seen issued for that. And. He was standing past 10 yards back, but it looks like he ran, like, Forward. into it. So that's still a card, nonetheless. Another, th another thunderous hit across the field. Who's Did thunderous? It Jake. Ad Adverb there. <laughs> Got to use my big boy words. The Thomas is Cohagen English class, and Mrs. Carol English is really paying off for you. Well, that was never a word <laughs> that we had to study. Well, I know. I'm just. Ooh, it looks like he was holding on to his ha Mike B's hand. That was an easy call. 
I'm sorry. Where, what did he do? Ah, shoulder. I, d I was watching Mike. Yeah, and Mikey got pulled down a bit. Someone was holding on to his hand. So. Ooh. We also have a card to number, I think, 13? Number 11. Or number 11. And that was probably for holding on to Mike's hand when he fell. question okay my question mick question i know that's like mcdonald's mick question. no 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 <laughs> stop it could be a mystery stop. sandwich no no oh he got carded <laughs> for questioning i think so too because that wasn't issued uh, at the same time so mm. there were some players talking with the official and there's they don't like that there's another kid holding on to mikey's hand while he was trying to get the ball and when he fell he was just still holding on to it yeah the refs are hoping, I think, by issuing some cards, they'll get the game back to playing soccer and not roughhousing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ben tried running with it, but didn't realize there's a kid right behind him. Nice drop. And Jake has a, a nice cross, oh. almost a head ball. I would have played. I would have volleyed it. That is a good way to get kicked in the head. Yeah. I think a volley would have been so the smarter choice. Now Colton Markley, number four, and Sean Richard, uh, number seventeen, coming into the game. Colton will take his position back on defense with Caden and Carson and Connor. Yeah. And Colton. <laughs> you, you didn't need to mention that. <laughs> Colton can't play with Colton, so. Well, we. <laughs> Sorry, we've there, got the cup. We've <laughs> got the K defense back here. We've got Colton, Carsden, Caden, and Connor. Do you mean Th those are all C's besides Caden? Caden Brady is spelled with a K, as is Carsden, and two of them are C's. Yeah, but they so all the make C the C cuh C sound. So the cuh force. The cuh force. Cuh force. They're a cuh force to be reckoned with. Or the C K C K. <laughs> K C K C. <laughs> We have a little over 12 minutes left here in the second half. Dragons lead 3-0. It's been a m mostly entertaining game. It's been a good game. And you can see Mr. Humphrey in the back taking pictures. <laughs> yes, Mr. Humphrey is our cameraman. Camera picture well, he taker. He's really our cameraman. He, he does a nice job taking pictures. Just takes photos for <laughs> He's for our lacrosse fans. coach here at Argus. Um, this would have been, last we'll season would have been the third season for lacrosse. We were actually going to be HSAA. Uh, with COVID, that got canceled. So I don't know how that works this year. I'm sure the same. It'll it's just probably just going to be. Yeah, the kids are like really soccer. taken to it. It's a fun sport to watch. Um, one thing Jacob I find interesting is that you don't since know anything. Parents don't know the rules and they don't know anything. They don't yell. <laughs> it well, makes the game they nice. They still yell. And the referees, if you <laughs> are close enough to the field, are very kind at explaining what's going on. <laughs> and parents, yes. Someone here said parents have never known the rules, and they. Unfortunate. One thing I think Ooh. for uh, look, uh, that was a high kick. I feel. Oh, well, he stuck his head down. It's yeah. a good way to get your jaw dislocated. I've seen it. <coughs> Smacked on. And actually, yeah, <laughs> or partially dislocated. <laughs> that was that was uh, funny. That was Only until we got to the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to be honest, uh, lacrosse seems more physical, obviously, but it is very has physical. more interesting. But you do get to wear pads. Some so. ki kids have more anger behind it. Some kids sometimes mm -hmm. can't control their anger while they don't realize some of the rules. You poke no, they just, I think you it's... You can't beat a kid with a stick, but you can probably prod at them to get the ball the that arm. they have. Yeah. I don't think it's that they don't know the rules. They just... They tend to ignore it when they're angry. That's what well, I do sometimes. Males, uh, teenage males sometimes have some emotions Ooh. that... Ooh. That's, I think, a free kick because it's right free on the kick edge right when outside they jumped. The box. Yep. They m he must have thought Caden Brady leaned over a little bit. I feel he did, but it wasn't 
intentional. I think he was just trying to head the ball. Yeah, get to the ball. You got to be aware of your body. And, and this I is one where we're going to have a wall built here. And Kurt's lining him up with the post to get the best angle. And Kurt has the other s half of the goal. And they've asked and for I distance. I think that's they were – they were pretty close. They were about but what two they to just three steps off. Yeah. I think they have three kids. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Kurt was not ready for that. I got to tell you that every person <laughs> up here just went, ooh. <laughs> Kurt was not ready for that. That just – It kind of, yes. It was a corner. Stuck, but he was able to deflect it out, and mm -hmm. we'll have a Andrean <laughs> corner kick. If I was in that situation, I would be freaking out the whole time. I'd just <laughs> probably slap it down to the ground and hide. Uh, Mr. Brady likes our KCA force. KCA force? Yeah, we need hey. defensive shirts that KC, say that KC for sure. force. Yeah. Nice dive. Great dive there by um, Johnson. I think the only problem with Kerr and goal is he's not fast to getting to the ground, but he's working on that for most of his – keeper career so he's actually get gotten really good yeah good save there and since Kerr is almost as good as Colton in goal then Colton is happy out on the field oh yeah Colton finally gets I'd forgotten how quick Colton as was much fun Colton's very quick mm -hmm. he is you don't get to see that when he's I mean well you do but <laughs> just <laughs> short only in, in short, short little bursts, bursts. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear Eight minutes I left. apologize for those of you at home listening to Jacob and I. <laughs> <sighs> We're two corny people living yeah. in a corny world. Sorry. I say corn. I'm hungry. What time is it? It's past lunchtime, that's for sure. Devin Allen coming back in to Debbie the game Boy. for the Dragons, as is Ted Redinger, and giving Jake Stoltz and Nate Manikowski a break. Jake deserves this break, and Nate was doing pretty well up top. Yeah. He just wasn't resonating because he's newer. Ooh, Ooh. Cross went a little high, and we're going to have a dragon goal kick. I think our defense was not ready for that through ball. Yeah, it looks like Gabe Stone is coming back into the game for the Dragons. I think he's – yeah, and he's he'll be on defense. Yeah, Carson. Oh, back in his – Messing up the KC force. <laughs> KCA force. KCG. We'll move, we'll KCG. move Connor Tracy over to that right side, and Gabe will take and over we'll the left. And we'll just call him KCG. 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 <laughs> it's the KCG. <laughs> We're going to have a high kick, dangerous play. Oh, no. Uh, I no. Think oh, wait I a minute. I think it, yeah. Oh. I, he pointed the, r okay, he did. <laughs> now, what's, whoa, 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 what, what is happening here? What? No. He called one way, and then he called the other way. I'm not, I'm confused. I think he's still meaning, tor I still think he was meaning Andrea. And I don't know what was our. He didn't blow a whistle or anything, and he just went. What was our foul? No explanation. Good save, good save. Yeah, because he that, – that wasn't right. And who's that in the center, Jeremy? <laughs> All right, time to write down something. Okay, no harm, no foul. we got a little over six minutes well, left here in this half. Well, there was a foul. Yeah. We just don't know what it was. We just don't know it. It wasn't the one we thought it was, I guess. I saw a high kick, and I also saw yeah, where, where – I think it was Ted, Ted Redinger. What a shot. What a shot. We're going to get an instant replay on that one. That was a pretty good shot. Ball played up. Ted Redinger, I think. Wasn't that made by Teddy? That looked like by Teddy. Yep, Ted Redinger. Yeah. I think Keeper should have came out a little sooner. And then he would have had way more space to work with yeah. and also caused less space for him to shoot. But other than that, the, their, their keep has been like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these shots. It's just they're getting unlucky because they're getting up so close or their defense is slightly lacking behind a shot or two. Yeah. And it's just unfortunate. A.J. Mills coming in for Caden Brady. No, Kaden it's look the – Caden <laughs> looked like he was kind of – Hurting a little bit, so we'll hope now he's okay. Now it looks like the KC, uh, KC AJ. He's holding his G. back. <laughs> KC AG. KCAG. 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 Ball played out by Allen. He kind of, I don't think, I don't think Devin meant to play that out. KCAG. <laughs> I think he there was passing go. to There's the ball boy or something. Eh, it's fine. Oh. 
He failed. Yeah. Just a bit outside. Gabe was smart with that. Got gets it in the air. Yep, we're gonna have a late hit unlucky. over here. Good sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the camera's not yeah. gonna take it out. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Well, I, took <laughs> I took a charge. <laughs> Gabe Stone drew the charge. Oh, wrong sport. We'll be there soon enough. Not going to lie, the the 59ers logo literally reminds me of Hogwarts. It is. It's kind of cool. It's a crest, isn't it? <laughs> you can't give him a mic. Is that what you said? Well, I'm on the mic. You don't think I'm on false mic. I know. I know. I am entertainment. Oh, they do have kind of a neat little crest, yeah. At least he's being observant. High kids, levels if there's of entertainment. If there's nothing else you can do in life, kids, be observant. Observe everything around you. At your job. They won't. They're on their phones. I know they are. <laughs> they're on their Snapchats and TikToks. <laughs> yes, I thought Ted was being grabbed there, not... Yeah. It's quite interesting it's to sit fine. up here in the booth and hear every all the sounds from below. We'll just put it that way. We can barely hear the sounds on the field, though. Caden Ifong giving chase to the ball. Good fight between the two, but... Got a little bit of... Um, looks 25 like was giving a little Adam too much force yes. on it. Of course, that gets a rise. He lowered his shoulder slightly, which I think is reasonable to for a call. Although, if I remember, when we go over there, sometimes we're a little <laughs> loud. <laughs> what a what a hit, Gabe! <laughs> Got about four minutes. A smart left play here. by Gabe instead of a big kick for all the kids. Oh, oh, oh what a save! By the keeper, the ball did not fully cross. Uh, went off. Not going to lie. Ted Redinger had <laughs> a little. Almost, he almost hit his head. And he, yeah, and. It, you know, that ball completely has to be across that line. And 99% of it can be across the line. And if one little percent has not been. If I was that keeper, I'd probably hit my head. <laughs> that's one of those rules that people don't know. Good Ooh, little tap there by Allen over to Richard. Oh, unfortunate for their team because most of the time keepers can't win those 1v1s. And we'll get an instant what replay a good on that head. one. What a good head. Then a good send through. Yeah, it was a great send. And, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And Teddy just tapped it in mostly. Actually, that's Mike. Mike. I Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you said, how can you confuse them? You want to know why? It's because I was thinking it's of it's Teddy from It's hard when you're earlier. watching. I know, no, I know. No, 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 oh, no, you're no, fine. no, 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 no. But great little, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. You've had that before, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's it's hard to defend that goal. Yeah, you know, but. They've got more opportunity. You've got a big space that you've got to. For some reason, most of the ones I win is when I come out and, like, be Act like a banshee and just screech. Or yell, yes, if you make some noise at him and get wide. If you get your hands wide, then yeah. And you've got a and big arm span, you can do that. Most of the time, they don't shoot, so I tackle them and then take the ball off from under them. Got a dragon foul. And by tackle, I'm meaning using my foot, not football-wise. Yes, not, we don't tackle in soccer. Not, I'm not insane. That will definitely get you a foul. <laughs> no. In a world. <laughs> In a world where we actually focused on soccer. I know. <laughs> See, you could be the announcer guy on the movies. I, Jacob, I've just got your career for you. In a world where Colton's about to kick. I think we got it. And I'm annoying our audience. Well, the only person I know that's watching is Brad Brady, so. <laughs> <laughs> there may be other people watching, so sorry. He's not my kid. He's Andy's kid. I'm her kid. Trust me. <laughs> great oh, a lot fight of there slide sliding. Yeah, great fight there by the 59ers. This has really been a good game. I've enjoyed watching it. And uh, that's because I'm here. And the score, I don't <laughs> think the score reflects the, the fight that Andrean's had, and they've had some very close shots. Ooh. I can think of three that just slightly went askew that, you know, really easily could have been a goal. It's, it's hard to see. It's being weird. Ooh, what a sun back and what a head. I think that was by Connor Tracy. He had a concussion a couple years back and he wasn't able to head, according to his mother. And he. Oh, I know. His mom wants to wrap him in bubble, bubble wrap. Connor's a kid that plays 110% when he's out there and he puts his body out. He goes insane. Mm hmm. Kind of doesn't care if he. And <laughs> Sean's giving the fight. What a throw, but it was, oh, are we getting a corner? Get a goal kick out of that. 
That was unlucky. Was he? Nope, corner. I was right. Okay. Was he pointing? Who? Okay, now he's, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this <laughs> he was pointing goal <laughs> kick, though. I was looking where he was pointing, and he was pointing yeah, goal I kick. Yeah, I think so he was just making a, uh, a little mistake because I think t when Ted ran up, uh, it looked like he touched it, but he didn't. He, but he didn't. Because it okay. bounced off. Oh, great grab there. What a snag. As it came across from Caden Nifong, Snagadelic, Mike baby. Richard got a little shot on goal there, and the keeper was able to just tap it. And what are you doing? Just me? Oh. <laughs> got a little less than 30 seconds left here in the game. It's been a good fight for both teams, I should say. Have you had fun announcing? Yes, because I could listen to my sensual voice. Mm. That isn't really sensual. That doesn't sound very good. Oh, Jacob, we're going to have to talk about We're not etiquette. talking about anything. <laughs> announcing <laughs> etiquette. You just got to listen I'm sorry. to my voice and be annoyed. At least he's talking. All right, the clock runs out on the game here today. Dragons come away with a 5-0 uh, victory here at Eugene Snyder Field. Um, let's see, again, we will be in action next week, Thursday night. We will be at the girls' volleyball game. JV game starts at 5:30 with the varsity to follow. That will be the varsity or the senior night for the volleyball team. So, if you'd like to see senior night, tune in for that, and we'll recognize our volleyball seniors. And then Saturday night will be our senior night for boys. Um, Five o'clock start time against Bethany Christian. And we'll recognize our senior soccer boys. So, for Amy Stone and Jacob Stone and Luke Schaefer out on the camera, we will wish you good afternoon and have a great day. <laughs> Luke's laying down. <laughs>